The video itself is nearly six minutes long. She claims that her mother's boyfriend began sexually abusing her when she was seven. Then at age 10, she began secretly cutting herself. And by age 11, she was institutionalized after her mother learned she was cutting herself at school with razors. Then at age 12, she says she was raped by a classmate during a sleep sleepover at her home. She says the boy began spreading rumors at school that she was a whore. And that's when she attempted suicide with, quote, a deep cut and an overdose. She was in and out of hospitals for two years and credits therapy and family support with saving her life. I'm so glad she is doing better. That's not the usual story, Judy. You and I, I'm sure, I'm sure you deal with many of these people as I do. It's childhood trauma is such a common problem and it's intergenerational. A poor mom who yeah. everybody would love to vilify, undoubtedly she herself was a victim of something like this, which is why she was attracted to and by the guy that would perpetrate all this. We see this all the time. That's right, Dr. Drew, in my practice, just like you, most of my clients have stories like yep, this. Yep. And it continues to impact the way they behave today, the way they interact in their relationships, and their intergenerational uh, trauma, as you just mentioned, that they sometimes, without meaning to do so, end up actually victimizing their own children. So it, it's a really huge but problem. But they're seeing you. No, and the point is, the good news is they're seeing you. This young girl yes. is getting treatment. I think the, right. what's different about this story, and Vanessa, I'll ask you this, is it a good idea to bring this video and put it out on social media. I say yes because the what's different is you're now starting to see stories of recovery. Absolutely. People are starting to understand things, what these things are and what can be done. Absolutely. The people out there and the critics that are worried about whether she did this for likes or for clicks or for to go viral, so what? What if she did? It should go viral. She should get lots, lots of likes. We want this type of story to spread and we want the awareness out there to know for young girls in her situation to know that there is hope, there is help, there is something that these girls can but do it, but here's to my recover. Fear. What, but Judy? here's my fear, Vanessa and Dr. Drew. This yeah. is the problem with this because you are then allowing your to be critiqued and asked questions of by people who don't know you. And some of this can be empowering. I know that the majority of responses have been in her favor, uh, yeah. but they may ask other questions that may end up re-traumatizing her, things well, that she doesn't right. quite want to answer. So